Hello friends. I hope everyone is doing very well and good. So in continuation with the previous topic, I came up with a very important topic for today. That is different type of room tariff that is being widely used in hotel industry. So to start with, I have different types of room tariff or the different types of room rates that are used in hotels. So I am going to explain each of them and show some example how it is used in different situation and different condition. So start with, now we have first of all rack rate. Now in simple what, rack rate is the standard rate of particular category of guest room before any discounts. So rack rate, rack rate is the highest rate of a particular category of room. So from this rate, all other rates are derived with certain percent of percentage of discounts and we have bar rate which is bar means best available rate now best available rate of a particular category of room in a day now this rate basically fluctuates according to the occupancy in a hotel now if i cite an example now let's see for the overall Cecil in Simla now we have best available rate of INR 13,000 and with breakfast the best available rate is INR 14,500 and we have rack rate that is INR 21,000. So rack rate is the highest rate and the best available rate for the day is 13,000. Now moving on to corporate rate, it's a promotional rate to attract the corporate market segments. Now this is basically designed for the corporate clients. Advanced purchase rate. This is the rate which hotels usually come up with in order to get the business if the guest books the hotel room prior to one or two year. That is when an advanced purchase is made, they get a particular discount. So this is the rate that they used to book. Now group rate. It is a discounted rate offered to a particular group according to the volume of guests in the group. So if they have more guests in a group, then they will get more discounts or they will, the group will get low rate. And if they have less member in the group, then they will get higher rate. Now we have seasonal rate. As we all know, is the rate offered to the guest or agents or any company when the tourist traffic in a particular destina destination is very high during a particular period of time. Now off season rate, which is totally opposite to the seasonal rate. Offered, this rate is offered to the guest by the hotel during low traffic of guest for a specific duration of time. Now weekday rate. Now this rate is basically used by the transient hotels like those hotels which is nearby to the airport or railway station or any other places that is close proximity to the transient place. Now room rate charge to the guest during weekdays which is usually lower as there will be low demand of rooms. Now during weekday as everyone will be busy so the hotel remains like in a low occupancy so hotel come up with the weekday rate to the guest and weekend rate room rate usually higher than the weekday rate which is opposite to the weekday rate. Now this rate is a little bit higher compared to the weekday rate as there will be more demand of room so the hotel in order to get more revenue they will charge a little bit higher rate. Day and half day rate in simple words a day rate is charged for the guest not staying overnight in the hotel. Now if the guest wants to use the hotel for some uh, hours like for a half day then the guest will be charged 50% of the bar rate and if they don't stay overnight they will, they will not be charged for the whole day rate. That is half day and half day rate. Now package rate. The rate usually lower than actual expenses that covers accommodation, food and beverage, tour and tours and travel, transportation etc. provided by the hotels and travel agents. Now this is package rate is basically lower than the usual expenses which includes all the meals, their room charges, tours, sightseeing, transportation, everything 
that can be arranged by the hotel company or travel agent now tour series tour rate series or wholesale rate discounted rate for wholesale would who operates a series of tours for groups arriving and departing together like this is basically for the group guest like if the hotel or if a travel agent or a wholesale operator of tours for group of guest they they design a particular tour or series for their travel expenses and hotel they provide a particular rate for those group arriving and staying in the hotel now travel agent rate in simple words it's a contractual rate between the hotel and the travel agent they make a contract saying that they will the travel agent will provide this many hotel rooms this many guest in the year so the hotel provide a particular rate to the travel agent company volume guarantee rate now company volume guarantee rate which is commonly known as cvgr is a specific specific rate provided by the hotel to the companies who gives higher volume of business to the guest like there are some companies which are loyal to the particular hotel they always provide business to the hotel so hotel will guarantee a rate to that company according to a certain volume of guest that they provide in a year now airline or crew rate it's a special discounted rate for the crew of one or more airline that offers certain volume of business throughout the year on consistent basis now this is very popular in transient hotels those hotels which are nearby the airport now hotels they will have contract with the particular airline company and they will provide a particular rate to that airline company and all the air crew or the airline member or those who are working in that particular airline they will stay in that hotel now we have government rate the rate provided by the hotel to the government employees now educational rate this is a rate offered by the hotel to students and educationist who have limited travel budget budget now this is usually low rate compared to other rate membership rate membership rate are offered to the guest which are member of influential organization that provides volume of business now in simple words when a guest is particular member of a particular organization or let's say a member of of a loyalty program then the hotel will have particular rate for that loyalty member guest introductory rate it's a promotional rate offered by the hotel to the opening of new property now if there is something new happening in the city or something new opening in the hotel like for example if the hotel is opening a new restaurant then they will come up with the introductory room rate for the guest so if the guest book through that room rate they will get certain discounts now complimentary rate as we know complimentary it's a free of charge charge and none of the guest is required to pay for the room rent house use is a room used for management purpose with no charge that is example like manager on duty or the personal butler of the guest who uses the room in the hotel they are not being charged for it as they are for the management purpose so that's called you house use rate crib rate a rate charged for children above 4 years and below 12 years of age that crib rate is basically charged for children and that is usually the 50% of bar rate or 50% of any other rate now this is above 4 years of age and below 12 years of age ad hoc rate a discounted rate upon request of the guest now when the guest request the hotel for certain percentage of discount or negotiate or they keep on negotiating then that rate becomes a ad hoc rate employee rate it's the rate offered to the employees of the same organization let's say like a for a particular multinational companies or a multinational hotel brands like let's say marriott or shangri-la or hilton now all the members who are working in the marriott company when they go and stay in other properties of marriott they will be charged employee rate which is quite lower than the bar rate fnf rate that means friends and family rate it's basically 
a discounted rate given to the friends and family of the department heads and all the hod's or the ex group members of the hotel they have certain discount rate for their friends and family so thank you so much now this is the end of my video i'll come up with another 